never have I been. Nowhere, really. Nowhere. I mean, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I've been doing. I have been just hanging out. Where did I go? Nowhere. <laughs> just one day I was like, taking a break from, uh, from brewing. You know, I've uh, you know, gone to the beach a few times, went swimming. I social distanced with some friends and some very far distancing hangouts. You know, it's still really, really hot out. I think it's 100 degrees today. Why? Why? 97 at 5.30. It was 106 earlier. Brutal. I mean, it's absolutely, it's, it's absolutely brutal. And um, I grew some hops. I grew some hops too. Here, here, check it out. So these are dead now. Well, not dead, but they're like harvested. See the, uh, still trying to make some sort of last ditch effort here. And there will be a video on this. Yeah, it's coming. Got some plants going. Don't look at that, that's terrible. I even brewed some beer. Well, the beer I brewed was actually, some of it was in spring. Some of it was very early July. You'll see those, you will see those. And uh, you know, they're, they're gonna come fairly, fairly shortly. Um, yeah, I just uh, basically wanted to take a break. Sarah's schedule also changed, full disclosure. She was working a lot of nights and weekends, and now she's not. So um, she still has a job though, but her schedule is different. So, you know, figured I'd spend time with the wife. And uh, you know, one of the beers I did brew, which was back in June, I did show the brew video. That is the Black is Beautiful beer. And I have this aging. I bottled it, I don't know, mid-July. So uh, it's, you know, September 30th. So uh, let's give a taste to that, actually. You know, while that we're here, it's hot out, but but the beer is going to be cold still. Let's do it. Let, let, let's do it. Let, me, let me get that. You know, I've also been able to catch up on some shows. Watch The Outsiders on HBO, Devs, Hulu, The Outer Banks on Netflix, which maybe a, maybe a little old for it, whatever. Into the Night on Netflix was good. Upload on Amazon. Tales from the Loop on Amazon and High Fidelity on Hulu, though they just had one season of that. So, you know, you'll win some, you lose some. It was a great first season, though. Maybe the only season they're going to do. Look at that. Now, I will put the recipe in the description below if anyone wants to see it. Um, we donated to some of the causes. I said I would donate my income from YouTube to some causes as well. We still haven't forgot about it at all. Definitely in our minds. And um, so I will make this an annual beer for sure. You know, I, as I said, I think in the original video, I do or did what was called an adjective stout. It's like everything under the sun before you get to the word stout. So like one year was bourbon, salt, pepper, crazy stuff. And every year I do one. Started with my friend Rob, who's brewed with me a few times on the channel. And this will be replacing that. So I'll do the Black is Beautiful maybe like every time around, maybe the summer, um, you know. So by the time it's the winter, you know, it's had time to age a bit. Uh, or maybe the fall, who knows. Let's give this one a taste though. Smell on it, it's very, very nice and creamy. Not burnt at all, but, but rich, leathery. It's really, really nice. Um, a little roast in there, but not, not, not burned or overbearing at all. Very, very clean. Taste is very chocolate. Very, very chocolate. Nice carbonation on a low side, which I like. No, to bring a higher ABV beer. Um, but the idea of the black is beautiful was every shade of black or brown malt, and this had all of them, I believe, um, except for a crop of one and two. But it had like seven or eight in there. So there was a lot of dark malt, beautiful, rich, chocolate, creamy almost, beautifully carbonated. It's wonderful. So yeah, I'm happy with how that, with that, that turned out. And I'm glad, you know, it's for a good cause. So um, I should say, before I move on, before the end of the video, big news. Sarah and I are expecting a child in March 
a little girl. It'd be fun to have some brew days with her, you know. For, you know, she's probably gotta get a little older first before she can walk around, you know, the brew day and help me out. But she will be doing that for sure. So uh, yeah, we're happy, and uh, that's it. I guess. I guess uh, you know, I've been a little busy taking a break. But uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. There will be some videos. Again, they might be old. They might be from spring. But uh, they're they're gonna come out. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. See you next time. By the way, by the way, I should probably do a sour with these pomegranates, right? I mean, I have a ton. I should.